Hi, my name is Beth and I got accepted into the Disney College program for fall 2011 um, for Disneyland and my role is going to be custodial, um, my number one choice. And um, I just wanted to make some vlogs um, throughout my program, um, kind of for me and my family and friends, um, for other fellow CPs and CP hopefuls, and um, just to kind of have fun with it so I can document um, what, I've been, what I will be doing and um, kind of like what I'm looking forward to and kind of how I got here to uh, do this program. Um, I really wanted to do this Disney College program um, in the beginning. The first couple times I applied was strictly just because I love Disney and I'm a huge Dis nerd and a uh, fanatic. So it was pretty obvious that I needed to do this as soon as I found out about it, which was my freshman year in college. Um, and so after, after I um, applied the first couple times and was determined to get it for fall 2014, when I applied for it just here now, uh, spring 2014, um, what was I saying? Oh, the reason that I applied again in spring 2014, besides the obvious reason of me being determined and a huge Disney nerd, was because I've spent so much time researching um, the company and the program and just so many, seeing so many different awesome things about it and experiences and opportunities and just seeing that it can be a career, it made me realize that I really wanted Disney to be my future. And um, even though I never really seriously thought about Disney as a career, uh, I did now after I researched and practiced for this Disney College program interview. Um, it made me have so much more respect for those people who are cast members because it is very hard to get into this company. It is a very high standard company. I realized that this is where I want my future to be and that the company is the only company that I want to work for. I can't think of anything better, um, anything more interesting, anything more enjoyable, um, fun, perfect. I just love everything about what Disney stands for and I just want to put all of my work and all of my um, passion into something that I really love and make sure I do things that I want to do for the rest of my life and this is the only thing that I can really see me doing for the rest of my life. Like even now right now thinking about what kind of job I want to go to before I start the program since I just left my last job I it's very hard for me to uh, think of something that I'd really thoroughly enjoy um, just because they're not Disney. I applied on um, February uh, 9th. Yes, February 9th. And I got um, my phone interview scheduled for um, February 19th, so 10 days after. And then I got accepted on March 1st. Um, which is a Saturday, which I thought was kind of weird because I didn't think they accepted people on Saturdays. But that was pretty cool because it was a surprise. And um, this is not the first time I applied. This is actually the fourth time I applied. And this is the first time I got, an ex got accepted. So um, it took a lot of tries for me to get into this program, but I finally did it. And I am very happy and proud of myself. <laughs> but um, the first time I ever applied was in uh, fall of 2011. I was a freshman in college, and that was actually the first time I've ever heard about the program. Um, I applied right away as soon as I found out about it, which was kind of late to even accept my application. Um, it was a couple of days before the cutoff, um, so I didn't even get a web-based interview. But I wasn't... Um, too heartbroken because I knew that I could just apply the next spring. So I went ahead and applied um, spring 2012. 
I was um, still a freshman and um, I got my web-based interview and my phone interview and I passed the web-based interview but I did not pass my phone interview. Um, I actually didn't prepare enough for that and um, I didn't really know that you had to. I just thought it was like, I don't know, I thought I did pretty good on my Cold Stone interview so I thought like, hey, I could do pretty well in this phone interview. Like, I love Disney and I think I'm pretty charismatic, so, but I guess they didn't think the same, so <laughs> that's okay. I didn't do my research enough, and I didn't, like, study or practice at all, so it's my own fault. <laughs> um, and then the next time I applied was um, in fall of 2013, um, six months ago, and I got my web-based interview, I got my phone interview, um, I practiced so hard, I researched so much, like I overdid it, and I sounded like a robot. So I didn't get accepted. Um, I actually did get waitlisted, so I did something right. I don't know what, but <laughs> probably just knowing and having the right kind of answers that they wanted, but just not sounding genuine and um, excited about it like I did this time. Um, I talked more on the phone with them on my phone interview, kind of like this, like how I'm talking to you. Um, but the first time I was more like, it's very strict with my answers, making sure I knew exactly what I wanted to say, how I wanted to say it, how did I wanted to answer everything. And I didn't pay enough attention to my personality. And that is really what they're looking for. Um, after my phone interview in, um, spring 2000. 12. Um, I thought that was actually my last time I could apply to the Disney College program because after that um, program ended, I would like have to buckle down more, get my schoolwork done, get my like finish up my uh, dental hygiene prerequisite so I can apply to dental hygiene because it takes like two years to even get into the program. But um, after that phone interview, um, a couple months later, or even maybe even a couple weeks later, I guess, um, my dad actually passed away. And um, honestly, that would have been the worst moment to um, go to that Disney College program. So I'm very happy I didn't get accepted. Um, we wouldn't have been able to afford it. I wouldn't have been able to live away from my mom and my brother. We are all very supportive of each other. Um, living together was something that was definitely um, a necessity for us at that moment just because it was a huge milestone in our lives. Um, I couldn't even think of moving away at that time. And I believe that, you know, God had a reason and a purpose for that, um, he, like he does everything. And uh, I do know that I didn't get accepted into the program uh, for the spring 2014 that I applied to. Uh, last fall of 2013 because I think and I believe that, um, you know, God just wanted me to wait and see what I wanted to really do, which I thought was dental hygiene. And I didn't realize that until after the program would have already started, which I wouldn't have like put two and two together. I wouldn't have realized it. So being able to do this program for uh, fall 2014 is such a blessing because now that I know that I want my future with Disney, I can put all of my strength, all of my um, attention and into this program and into Disney and work my way up and make sure that I take this program very seriously rather than just for fun. And I can actually uh, do the best that I can um, and take all the opportunities, take all the networking, all the classes that I want, and just, like, be the best that I can be for this company so that one day I can be that high up person in the company, which I still don't know what I really want to do within the company, but, um, I know that I want to do the, uh, be in the company, and that's what matters, so... I'm very happy that um, this is my time and it wasn't then or then or then whenever I applied last time. So 
I, I'm satisfied with being accepted now rather than last time. One thing that I got to um, do that I thought was pretty cool was I got to video record my mom's, mine, and my brother's reaction to my acceptance. And I thought that was really special to me. Oh, and my aunt's on the phone. But um, that's kind of just something that I wanted to do. Um, and I just thought that would be kind of cool to see what we actually look like as we're like all shocked and surprised and happy and all that stuff so um, I recorded it and I'll show you. I'm gonna check my email. Oh my gosh! Lenny! I got in! This is me telling my brother that I got accepted about three or four times until he actually hears me and then um, kind of registers it. Lenny, I got accepted! What? I got accepted! What? I'm accepted! I'm Disneyland! Oh! I'm going to Disneyland! Oh! I'm going to Disneyland! Oh! I'm going to Disneyland! Oh! Oh! What? What? I got accepted to Disneyland! Uh, you did! Yeah. Oh. Congratulations! I'm so proud of you. Thank you. I have to tell you something. What happened? I didn't get into Disney World. You didn't? No, we got into Disneyland! You did! Yeah! <laughs> Congratulations! I'm also doing a blog. Um, I'll put the link in the descriptions below. I just kind of wanted to do both. Um, and I can videotape me, you know, at the parks and just put a bunch of different things into a vlog that I can't do in a blog and vice versa as well. So that's pretty much my story. Um, I'm going to keep posting vlogs um, for this Disney College program before, during, and after hopefully. And um, I will continue posting blogs as well if you'd like to read them. Um, I really like doing vlogs. I don't know how much I'll like doing vlogs. I, I'll, I guess I'll have to do a couple to see. This is very, this is like my first vlog ever, so hopefully it's good. I don't know. I don't even know how to edit this, so hopefully it can be edited very nicely. Bye, guys. Hope you enjoyed listening to me ramble about everything and about how I got into the program about my life, my, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that, because I don't know, okay, bye!